Uh, he's Mr. Saturday Night and the face of some of our favourite TV shows like In For A Penny, Big Star, Little Star and Celebrity Catchphrase. Have you got what, the one we played earlier yet? Well, you'll find out what it is in a minute. Uh, yes, Celebrity Catchphrase is back with a host of fresh faces saying what they see, including our Brenda. Oh, oh I've you broken it! <laughs> Brenda, I've never in my life... Uh, have you actually... She's actually not just bust it, she's actually broke the perspex. <laughs> <laughs> right, in all the years, I'll tell you what, not, not even Roy had to deal with that. Stephen, I've got to ask you, do we now owe you compensation? <laughs> the reality is, right, um, no one, first of all, has ever done it. But she must have hit it with such force. <laughs> to get through that perspex, you have got to have some strength. <laughs> but to Brenda's credit, she was one of my favourite guests we've ever had. I'm not just saying it because we're on loose spring. She was brilliant. She was just such a good personality. I've met her once before, but um, she was just really up for a good laugh. And secretly, I know Emily who did win, but I'll let the secret... I actually really wanted Brenda to win. <gasps> That's oh, terrible, you. Stephen. Well, I tell you what, Favourite I think she had, she had a lot of love for you, Stephen, as well, and she, uh, she left this for you. Stephen, it's me again. I know I'm probably the last person you want to see, but I just wanted to say thank you for your patience and your understanding um, and for not actually finding me for breaking the catchphrase buzzer. It's truly appreciated. And um, here's a catchphrase for you. Accidents do happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> now, oh, uh, Stephen, you gave us uh, a bit of a task uh, earlier. You gave us a catchphrase to try and work out. Um, yes. So, can you reveal what it was? Well, look, nice one if you got it right at home. I know Jane said she already knew it. Let's have a look. Mr. Chips, he's let the ladies out. They are running free because, of course, they are. Come on, loose women. Yes. So, have you been enjoying oh, doing wow. the doing the series? I do enjoy it. Listen, I, I grew up watching the show. So um, my family watched it when Roy Walker, who was the king of Catchphrase, he was he was the master of it. And then when they told me that they were going to bring it back and they said, listen, they're, they're interested in you doing it, I was like, oh, look. And we all know when you're given a show, um, it, it's a dream, but to get something like that, I can't believe it's been on the TV for 30 years. Wow. I was just, I mean, I, I know you, we've just moving on from that, we'll come back to that, but you do, you're quite good at magic. You do, you're in the magic circle and all of that. And you were a, um, a, a junior magician at Harrods and you did a trick for Princess Diana. I'm, I'm dying to know what, what trick you did and what did she say yeah. to you? So, so what happened was I was the, like their resident magician. So when they had like VIP guests and stuff, I got to do tricks with them. And we were told that Princess Diana was going to be shopping that day but do not speak to her unless she speaks to you. And what happened was she was walking past, she had security, either side, not close to her, but they were like ahead of her and behind her and surrounding her and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And as she walked past, I just couldn't help it. And I, I said, can I yeah, show you the fastest the trick in the world? And um, she just smiled and carried on walking. I thought well, it was worth a try. And then about 10, 15 minutes later, she came back and said, well, let me see the fastest trick. And, uh, and I did it. And uh, it was it was it was incredible because she was exactly what you wanted her to be like, and it was just brilliant, laughing, giggling, and uh, she took part in it, and it was brilliant. What and was I got the trick then? As well. What was the trick? So, so I wish. Do you know something? I should have. I, I'm oh. so annoyed. I have, <laughs> do you know what? If you're coming back to me, I'll grab a pack of playing cards and I'll show you because it is that quick. We should have done this. Um, <laughs> so it's interesting. <laughs> Take your card, you rub it on your arm, and it changed. It was that quick. Fabulous. Uh, but I actually got to sign the card, and somewhere in my house, I have that card. It's wow. in, the, in my garage. Yeah, and I'll tell you, I will find it. <laughs> Stephen, as, yeah. as the only person in the world, although apparently Nadia, up until last week, I had never seen The Masked Singer. Then I was suddenly on Instagram, and I kept seeing... Denise Welsh is seahorse. Now, when you didn't know what that meant, it was a very bizarre thing to see. <laughs> it, it was actually Mel B, and it was to do with stealing some toilet paper, as I had admitted that I'd done before. Um, but, uh, but the word is on the street is that you are bush baby. 
Now, obviously, you're not going to, to, to tell us, but we know that you do sing as well as playing by and Lynn and piano as well. Um, but and a lot of people are texting me at the moment and saying, you know, a couple of them are trying to catch me out as well, going, I push back yeah. me, blah, blah, and then just moving on. Expecting that I'm going to reply. And listen, as you know, it would be a shame if I gave it away. So I can't say yes, I can't say no. But they did give a lot of clues away last week to the point where I was thinking I was Bush Baby. <laughs> <laughs> can you sing, though? I can, can sing. I can sing. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can sing, yeah. And um, play the violin, yeah, apparently. I can, sing. I can do magic, like they said. I can knit cups from cat's rays. <laughs> I can do it all. Oh, I'll t- tell you what, Stephen, I need to have you in my house to keep my kids occupied. <laughs> uh, you seem to do everything. But you are going to do um, a bit of a game with us, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to play a game of cat's rays right now, ladies. And, of course, the brilliant thing about cat's rays is you can play along at home. So good luck to everybody. But on the TV show, as we all know, uh, Nadia has been on the show, you get a buzzer which obviously Brenda broke. (laughs) So to save any of that, ladies, can I each have a noise from you that will be your own personalised buzzer? Here we go. Don't just be... Don't be bored and go ding-dong. Give me something good. Charlene, go for it. Um, I'll I'll just do bong from the news, obviously. Oh, exactly what I said. Don't do it. My real-life doorbell going. I'll do... (laughs) That'll do. She loves a bit of toilet humour. Come on, Denise. (laughs) How are you, the lads? <laughs> and Jane, come on, Oi. Jane, don't let us down. Oi. Oi. Right, well, good luck, ladies. Here is your first catchphrase. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. Remember, buzzing with everything, um. you know the answer. Who is there? Bums rush. Here's the point. Bums rush behind. Lagging behind. Lagging behind. It's got to be. No, what behind. happens when you're in a race? When you're in a race and you're behind? You are. Lagging. Oh. Bringing up Dropping. the rear. Bring up the rear! Oh, yes, oh well, done. <laughs> well done. Well done, darling. Bring up the rear. Well done. OK, have we got another one? Here's your next one. Let's squeeze one in. Come on. OK, let's take a look. Oh, sheep. Sheep. Kung Fu uh, Panda sheep. Here's a clue. Kung Fu sheep. Lamb chop. Lamb chop. Lamb chop, yes! Oh, well done. done! Oh, that's, that's why I'm not on yeah, it. Yeah, that's a product. <laughs> <laughs> do, we have, do we have time for one more? Yeah, go on, one more. Go one on, more. Go on, let's play it. Uh, Pick yeah, up a penny, ladies. penny, ten. Penny um, to a pound, ten, no, uh, penny to a ton. Ten ton, Tessie. Ten ton. Oh, wait. If that landed on Mr. Chips, he would have been, he would have been killed. Oh, but we, we, can't, we can't work it out. Lucky Tessie, if you're going to pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. Yeah! Yeah! Well done. Well done, Stephen, thank you so much for giving us that. That was a way to get our brains working today. But